Adding inserts to a digital planner is a way to customize your planner to make it look and function exactly the way you want. Want a budget or meal planning section in your planner? No problem. GoodNotes 5 allows you to quickly and easily add digital inserts to an existing planner. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly what digital inserts are, show you two ways to add inserts into your digital planner, I'll show you how to resize the inserts to fit your page. And finally, I'll give you a few tips for working with inserts and show you where you can find inserts for your digital planner. This is Jackie with Plan a Healthy Life and let's get started. So a planner insert is a page you literally insert or add to paper or digital planners. They can be calendars, weekly layouts, daily to-do lists, or specialty inserts like meal planners, diet and fitness journals, or budget trackers. For a paper planner, you just buy or print pages, punch holes, and add them to your binder or notebook. It's a little different in a digital world. A digital planner or notebook is a specially designed PDF document with hyperlinks or clickable tabs that you use inside of an app like GoodNotes 5. You can add digital inserts to customize your planner, like the types of inserts I just mentioned, calendars, to-do lists, fitness trackers, etc., but they have to be images, either PNG or JPEGs. By adding these images on top of a page in your digital planner, you preserve the clickable links in your digital planner. It's simple to add inserts to a digital planner or notebook, and I'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways, one using your camera roll and the other with images saved to cloud-based storage. I'm demonstrating in my rainbow digital notebook and I'll link to that in the description box below. Here's how to add digital inserts to a digital planner or notebook using your camera roll. First, you need to have the images, either in JPEG or PNG format, saved to your iPad's camera roll. Now open your digital planner in GoodNotes and navigate to the page you want to add the inserts. Tap on the image tool in the toolbar. Scroll to find the insert image you want and tap on it. Now you can resize using the handle at the bottom of the image if desired and using your finger or an Apple pencil to position the insert where you want on the page. You can also crop off the outside borders of an image to make it appear larger in your digital planner. Tap on the image twice to trigger the crop option. Tap on crop and then use the blue circle handles to crop your image. When you're done cropping, just click on done. Now here's how to add digital inserts to a planner when the insert images are stored in the cloud. I like to store my digital inserts in the cloud to save space on my iPad and leave my camera roll for pictures of the people and the things that I love. So no matter where you save your inserts in the cloud, so the Apple Cloud, Google Drive, Dropbox, or Microsoft OneDrive, you can easily add them to your digital planner. And here's how to do it. So open your digital planner in GoodNotes and navigate to the page where you want to add the inserts. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen to open the dock. On the dock, touch and hold the files icon, then drag it off to the right edge of the screen. Now navigate to the location where you have the insert stored. So in this example, I'm selecting OneDrive. Find the image you want to insert, press and drag it to the left onto the GoodNotes screen. Then you can resize using the handle at the bottom of the image if desired. And using your finger or an Apple Pencil, position the insert where you want on the page. When you are done adding inserts, just swipe to the right to close the files folder. Like before, you can easily crop that image to get rid of excess space in the margins and make your digital insert appear larger on your page. Now here's a few tips for working with inserts in a digital planner. Remember that the inserts are pictures on top of your planner. You can add writing, text, and digital stickers on top of the inserts, just like I'm doing on the screen now. But if you try to lasso writing or other photos on the page to move or resize them, you will by default also select the insert image. So here are some tips to help. If moving or resizing handwriting or text, 
deselect the images option in the lasso tool. And the easiest way to move photos on top of a digital insert is to select the image tool, tap on the image you want to select it, and then move or resize that image. It will leave the original insert image alone. So where do you find inserts for your digital planner? You might be wondering where to find inserts for a digital planner or notebook. So here are some sources. One is my plan a healthy life shop and I just had to toss that out there. I'll link to it in the description box. You can also purchase inserts on Etsy. If you have PDF inserts that we used to call printables back in the day that you want to use, they can easily be converted to PNG images. Just Google PDF to PNG. There's lots of free online resources to do that for you. Similarly, you can also search for something like free budget printables or free meal planning printables or whatever, and then convert those to PNG images. And you can also design your own inserts using programs like Canva, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Publisher, or even apps like Keynote or Procreate. I hope you found this quick digital insert tutorial helpful and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I share videos about digital planning and healthy living. Happy planning!